Boy, that's not very attractive, is it? <clears throat> okay, uh, this is called A Letter from Maxine. And it is indeed... God, that chin is awful. All right, I have a double chin. What am I going to do? Uh, this was written on April 22nd, 1956. Dear Stuart, I received your letter today. You sound nice. My favorite movie stars are men. William Lester, Rock Hudson, Bob Wagner, Johnny Sheffield, Tony Curtis, and Tab Hunter. Women, Mitzi Gaynor, Yvonne DiCarlo, Marlene Dahl, and Deborah Padgett. I would like to know how tall you are and what color you eyes what color eyes you have, all right? Also, how much do you wait? Yes, I do go out with boys. And my favorite songs are Caravan, Seven Lonely Days, How Much Is That Doggy in the Window? And I'm turning the page, which I shouldn't be doing. My favorite singers are Frankie Lane, I got my face in there, <clears throat> Johnny Ray, Steve Lawrence, and, <laughs> and the Gaylords. Also, I like Doris Day. Patty Page, and Rosemary Clooney. Who are yours? My hobby is singing, and that is all that I do. Really? Is that all that she does? I wear, spell W-H-E-R, lipstick sometimes, and my color is cerise. Do you like girls that wear lipstick? I hope so. I have gone out with some boys before who drive convertible cars. Also, I did have a boyfriend, that is, until he went into the Air Force. He was in the paratroopers, and now he is paralyzed on his right side. It is very sad. Boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. My one dream is to come to Hollywood, and as soon as I am 18, I would like to come and visit you. Oh, my. She's going to come and visit me. I also like to dance alone and with boys. I dance alone to South American songs like Anna, and I can act a little, too. Oh, Stuart, I can't wait to get your picture. Two exclamation marks. Well, that's all for now. God bless you, Maxine. And my note to myself at the bottom of the page. I have absolutely no idea who Maxine is. From the tone here, she sounds more like a pen pal than an old girlfriend. What's amazing is that I was actually exchanging letters with so someone, a girl, yet, in 1956. At the time, my family and I had just moved from Cleveland, Ohio, to California. The envelope the letter is in bears a Cleveland postmark. <clears throat> but as to what... Oh, fuck. Uh, but as to what or who she was or why we were writing one another, this remains an absolute mystery. And yet, here it is. Here it is, folks. Sort of. Here it is. Living proof of this of the existence of this mysterious flame, perhaps more like a matchstick, from my youth. That, my friends, is the magic of letters. Maxine, wherever you are, I hope that you're still dancing alone to South American songs. The End.